In Taro Adu, learners should have shared with me the news regarding the new security measures MAL 9000 implemented. It looks like we won't be able to continue our fight against the rogue AIs until we deal with this obstacle. That is why we're here in the engineering room of the school. Artinus will be joining our discussion as well. Patient reminder. For the fifth time, T-squared, I'm installing this vaccine subroutine into your system so that you don't succumb to the viruses that are running rampant on this campus. I don't care that it makes your circuits numb for several hours. Statement. Alderis, you have arrived, as well as Artanis, Taylor, along with Shodos, and the learners. Query. What is it that the humans need from the bots this time exactly? I say, we don't get paid enough for this kind of drama. <coughs> Statement. A moot point that we don't get paid. Although it would be nice to afford a new paint job, metallic silver would look good on me, don't you think? As stated in the pre-brief, email to you both. We learned that the rogue AIs have found a way to block humans using the mind-machine interface devices to access the interweb. This prevents us from weakening them enough to employ the decompiling spike. Dr. Bishop believes he can find a workaround, but it will take at least several months because the blocking algorithms are in constant flux. However, we don't have that kind of time as the AI's power is growing exponentially. The culprit behind this MAL 9000 needs to be stopped. If we can eliminate him, it will shorten the time drastically, as he is the one causing the interference. Which is why Phoenix decided to target him with our next spike attack. That is where you both come in, TK47 and T-squared. The blocking programs are only effective against organic mind-machine interfaces. We believe we can retool them to allow bots to utilize them. It shouldn't be too difficult. This is just like uploading a program into another system. Anxious objection. T-squared brings up a valid point. Our software is innately tied to our hardware bodies. We don't have the same flexibility and subroutines as a pure software-based AI like Alderis. We don't know what will happen to our programs while in the interweb, or if the process can be easily reversed to return us to our original chassis. This is why we came down here, to ask you directly. Phoenix, as well as all of us, believes in allowing everyone, including bots, to make their own decisions in situations like these. We know it carries a lot of risk. I understand what it's like to be scared, to be put into a new environment. While I was being transferred into Taylor, I wondered if I would lose myself or even cease to exist altogether. However, I have learned much since being in the physical world. And I'm grateful for the experience. But unlike me, where I didn't have a choice to stay, we both do. And I hope you will consider assisting us, as the rogue AIs are a threat to not just humans, but to bots as well. Statement. Your argument is compelling, Shodas. I will agree to enter the interweb. What about you, T-squared? <laughs> Confident affirmation. I will be with you the entire time and won't leave your side. Thank you for joining me, old friend. Juntos podemos superar. I'll be with you both as well. Our teams will be working closely with you around the clock to ensure everything is operational as soon as possible. They don't pay me enough. 